In this video, we'll be looking at the Scrapbook palette. This palette automatically opens when we open up Scrapbook and it changes either from our desktop palette or our PowerPoint palette to our Scrapbook palette. Let's have a look at what this palette is made up of. At the top, we have the pen. We then have the text or shapes button. We then have the keyboard or handwriting recognition. We then have the eraser. At the bottom is the mouse or the pointer. We then have the snapshot, record or add a new page. We then have zoom. And the final button on here is our highlighter. Let's see how they all work. If I was to click on pen, automatically it changes and gives me two options in the center, colors and line size. Right now I'm on the colors and I can go and choose from any of the eight different colors available. If I click on the line size, I can go make my pen thicker or thinner. The text button, this allows me to go anywhere in scrapbook, click, I am now able to add text to my scrapbook and we would use this when we are creating our lessons. At the same time, if I was to click and hold on text, this would allow me to choose between my shapes and text. And if I chose shapes, I have three options in the middle. Firstly, the thickness of my shape, then the color of my shape, and then the type of shape I want. Either a solid square, empty square, transparent square, empty circle, full circle, straight line, double-sided arrow, or a single arrow. I click on my keyboard, that brings up my keyboard, and we can use that, like I said before, when we're actually delivering the lesson and we wanna add a word in. You wouldn't really use it while you're preparing because you should have a keyboard in front of you. If I was to hold down, that would give me the options between text recognition and my keyboard, and we'll look at text recognition a bit later. I then have my eraser, my different sizes so I can change the different sizes of my eraser. Erasers only erase ink not text or shapes and if I hold down the bottom and I can choose between my mouse or my select and that's more of a pointer. A good one to have here is snapshot or record if you want to record the entire lesson but a great one to have is add page. So a shortcut for while I'm teaching, I can just add in a new page there if I want to add to my lesson, or I could use it during the creating process where it's quicker just to go to the palette. Zoom, this allows me to zoom in and out of my lesson. So if I had a picture, I could zoom in and see the quality. Just something to remember here, the size and quality of your picture if it's not that good, when we zoom in, it will pixelate. And the last one is our highlighter. Again, two options, the color of our highlighters and the thickness of our highlighters. And that is a brief overview of our scrapbook palette. We will look in more detail at the individual icons on each palette later. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.